for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. This is the main event. Dildo Corn is alive and kicking. Come on over here, I'll headbutt your ass a couple times if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> This brother breaking off a 40 yard run. This brother, come on, zip it. I hope I didn't piss off Jesus. You call that a penalty? <laughs> Who's yeah, number one, though? Down. Who's number one? It's the LA Clippers. Boom! Oh, shut up! <laughs> You're saying it wrong, people. I would get him pregnant. Uh, fuck you. Uh, triple. They just fing called in and hangs up, you fing motherfucker. That fing pisses me off. Are you, are you in the shower now? I'm totally in the shower. Yeah! He's not a coach dad. You mean James? Stupid idiot. You're a stupid <laughs> idiot. For getting so fuck uptight over fucking cuffing. You're clearly lying. You're clearly Why would I lie? Why would I lie? Well, I don't need attention. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You're a comic. Yeah. 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 Punch Drunk Sports here at the John Lovitz Video Podcasting Studio in Mexican Disneyland here. Hey! Oh, yes. Dude, what's up with this parking shit going on here, yeah, by the way? before we get to the Jew, what's with the parking? Jesus Christ. Ari, it's way worse than it's ever been. Ari, literally, dude, I'm not lying to you. I parked two blocks from your house. Your current house. Where you in are New right York. now. I parked two blocks away, and I just got here. What is, what's their deal with parking now? What are they doing? They're doing construction somewhere, so now everything is filtered into one garage, and you cannot park right in front of the club at all. Uh, so Ari, you look good, dude. Yeah, I like the haircut. Hey, what are you doing, nothing. dude? <coughs> you look good. What? You look good. You look balanced. Is this TV Ari? Are you already getting <laughs> pampered and all that shit? TV friendly. All right. Yeah, I hired a. I hired a. Uh, what are those people called? Workout personal trainers. Yeah. Personal trainer. Hold and, on. And stop. I hired stop, one of those. Stop. What do they call those people? Working out now? No, there's no yeah, way. Constantly. And a nutritionist. Stop. Totally wrong. Ooh. Stop. You ever see Eric I'm Griffin? On only the cherry. Like the cherries are good at antioxidants, so I concentrate on cherry gummies, and then um, occasionally I'll go for like orange and stuff gummies, but like mostly I'm concentrating on the antioxidant cherries. All uh, right. All right, did you see like when Eric Griffin was trying to get in shape? He's like, yeah, I'm trying to lose weight, you know? So I, I go, I'm like, Eric, you know, you, you can't, you can lose all the weight you want. That face yeah. will never be Tom Cruise. Do you know what? It's like, you're that never That face gonna... will never be straight. Yeah, and then it's fine, dude. I'm not saying, I'm not picking on him because I love Eric Griffin. I think he's a funny, hilarious comic, but it's like, you're blessed. You don't have to lose the weight. You're yeah. supposed to be kind of chunky. Yeah, that's your guy. You're yeah, that's like, who you you're are. You're a character actor. Yeah. You're a fat guy in the body of a fat guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like, that's a blessing. Yeah. That's not That's when you know you're not supposed to lose the weight, when you're a fat guy trapped in a fat guy's body. <laughs> if you're like a skinny guy trapped in a fat guy's body, you got to get back to the skinny guy. Very funny. Real quick, while I get into some stuff, uh, guys, bet DSI. Go. Use it. Promo code punch drunk ten dollars betting cash. Check them out. If you're gonna bet on the All Star game, we'll get into that with Ari. Go to Bet DSI. Promo code punch drunk. Also go to Caveman Coffee. Bam. Use punch drunk promo code. Get a discount on that. Help a nigga out. And finally, we okay now. Real what, Ari? What's our website situation now? We have it. We're it back up, up. And it is rocking. Punch nice. drunk sports is officially up. PunchDrunkSports.com is officially up, and our, our, our Amazon links are up. So now when you use them, the money goes to the team. Yay. Yeah. Where's hey, the kids? Also, do we have links for we have links for Caveman Coffee and, and Bet's DSI on there? What's that? We have links for Caveman Coffee and Bet's DSI We're getting those up right now. I got to be honest with you, our, good, our friend and our fan, Bill Johnson, Laura Johnson's husband, has worked yeah. his ass off on this, and uh, he's doing it as quickly as they can. I put out a tweet. If you want to follow him on Twitter, follow him. He's a great guy, Canadian, but, you know, what can you do? Is he charging us um, 10 to 14 times more than industry standard and... 10 grand. 10 grand, Ari. Ari 10 grand. 10 grand, but trust me, that's only a month, okay? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, Ari, real quick, I went through your girl... 
uh, and got it. My website's done. My new one's up too. Insane. So, yeah, it's very. good. She did a great job. She's great, bro. And you, you're like, if she's like, does something you don't like, she goes, mm, how about this? You're like, oh yeah, that's way better. She goes, okay, do that. She's great. Ari's great she's because great. his he went to this amazing woman. Uh, uh, what is her crown? Crown. Crown. Crowndesigns.com. Go check it out if you want your website done. And uh, Bill Johnson's uh, four studios. I'll get all that out. And they're both great at what they do. Ari goes, hires this woman to make his website, and then asks her to make a high-tech Atari graphic website. If you go to Ari's website, it literally looks like it, his web designer was mentally retarded. It's like nice, but it's like a very primal, simple design. Yeah, like simple. You yeah, like simple. simple. I don't like bells and whistles. Yeah. Every time there's like flash pages to start off, that means you, you got to watch that every single time you load up a page. It's great for the first time, and then it becomes annoying as shit. Mm -hmm. Ari, where are you going to be? What date you want to put out? And then we're going to get into the magic. Montreal, Canada. This Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I am doing my storyteller shows, different comics every night. We have Greg Proops, uh, Mark Marin. Is uh, Montreal this week? It's this coming week. Mm -hmm. uh, today's Tuesday, but this coming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, Thursday. I thought it was and then a I'm doing following. A live Skeptic Tank there on Thursday, a live podcast during the day. Awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, I am going to be at Comic Con the July 25th and 26th, Friday and Saturday. I will be out there. And then on the 29th, the Rock and Pole World Championships. It's the first ever karaoke pole dancing competition. Tag team winner gets $500. $500,000? $500. $500. $500,000. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Prize. If you come down, maybe. Prize. Yes. Uh, also performing, Tara Patrick, Brad Williams, my good friend, Jason Tebow and the Bears Candy Overdrive Band, uh, Josh Wolf's Wild Wolf Band, and... Wait, Candy Overdrive Band? Kennedy Overdrive, Bears Kennedy Overdrive is playing. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're gonna rock, we're gonna rock it out, Ari. That'll be pretty cool. And then, uh, and we have Celebrity yeah. Judge Too Short, who called me and asked if he could judge it. So that sort of thing. And I got other dates coming I up. I smoked a J with him once. What's that? I smoked a J with him once in the video room. Hey, dude. Uh, you know who's what? sponsoring my show? The, uh, the I got two sponsors for the, the. Uh, Karaoke Pole Dancing World Champions, the Rock and Pole World Champions, uh, Caviar Gold. Have you ever smoked their weed? No, my fucking... Oh, the weed, Caviar Gold. I thought you meant those blunt wraps that are made out of gold. No. Oh, yeah, I've had Caviar Gold. That's pretty good. What yeah. It's a strain. I don't really do drugs, but uh, back in the day when I met them, they had me smoke a thirty, a $30,000 joint. What? It was this long, and I'm like, dude, I don't smoke. He's like... Are you ever going to be able to smoke a $30,000 joint again? Like, dude, I, I smoke weed every day. Yes, that was great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will hook everybody up. But yeah, man, they're sponsoring. Plus, Sam's Hoff Brew is sponsoring my show. And uh, have you ever been to this club? I've been there. I used to print all their shirts back in the day. It's pretty awesome. It's really it awesome. Used to it's be very a, unique. It's a small, it used to be an old Denny's. And they kicked out all the fat waitresses, brought in thick ethnic strippers you walk in it's the coolest thing ever it's it's like feminism didn't reach this club because for a dollar you can walk up basically it's like you're sticking your paycheck in a in a in a atm machine you stick a dollar in there and you can go butt bongo and the girls love it it's the most amazing shit ever really yeah sounds cool i love it let's go back to ari ari have you seen that video of Jeter saying, everyone saying goodbye to Jeter where they tip their cap? Man, it makes me cry. It's so good, it's right? So good. Oh. I shared it on Facebook. I never share videos like that. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's like, you're like, wow. It's, 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 look, I have my problems with him over the years. I think he's an overrated fielder. I think he's always been overrated because of a few great plays he's made. And we all know great plays do not mean, you know, statistical dominance over, but... Man, he's been the captain for so long of, of a team that won so many world championships, and he's just been a, 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 a on the on the surface guy. Like he's always been cool, never trying to mislead anybody, stayed away from sex scandals by not getting married. He's just been a cool dude. Banged everybody. Years. Banged everybody. Dude, he's the best.
fast. Dude, he bangs chicks and he's so nice to them. He signs merch. He has a merch bag for them waiting for them to leave so they can either take it, give it to their dad, or sell it on eBay for thousands of dollars. Like whatever you want, baby. It's yeah. You. Hey, Dude. I had a lot of fun being inside you. I put And I so put, did you. You had a lot of fun having me inside you. Here's yeah. a here's your consolation prize. Get the fuck out. Uh I gotta be honest. Get here. Out. I put him in Hit the bricks, twat. Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, and Derek Jeter as these guys that even if they're on the team you hate, you still have to love and respect them. They're just so badass at how they handle everything. Mm-hmm. That they're it's just how such Jeter's not as good. Jeter's never as good as Brady or, or Jordan. He was never even in that category. Not even for sure. I, I understand what you're saying, but I also but say won Brady, five championships. Is it in first ballot Hall of Famer? He played with Don Mattingly. I get that. Yeah. Which we'll he's get into that so later. Well. But I I think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. for sure. 3,500, 3,300 hits. He, he's he's hit average for like over 310 for a career. The guy's sick. Yeah. The guy's sick. And even Renee would have to give it up for that. Renee, even as Renee, a, as a player, Mexican, yes. Play with Fernando Venezuela. <laughs> no, you know you know what Renee looks like that new kid, Rojas. Rojas. You, do, do you ever go, wow, I look just like that guy? You think I look like him? I don't look like him. Look at, can you look up his picture? Yeah. Put up his picture. Ari, can you see the screen? Have you seen Rojas? Like I'm room. like, that looks like Renee. <laughs> I can see it. I mean, uh, that may come off as completely racist. <laughs> that does come across Who's as a Rojas, little. The, the soccer player? No, he's the. Uh, base for the Dodgers. What base? He's shortstop. 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 Well, he's Hanley's playing out. great. Yeah. And then Hanley's shoulder hurts, so Rojas taking over for him. What do you think that was? Yeah, that mean? I just don't. Oh, yeah, I don't buy man. it, That's man. Renee. He's yeah, like, let's see the picture. I can't see it. How come you guys can see it? Oh, you googled it? Computer. Yeah, he googled it. It totally. Every time I hear him, I'm like, Renee's got to be pissed. He's that close. <laughs> like his right? doppelganger yeah, right. is doing what he wants <laughs> to do. The you should get a like, picture of him throwing. That looks like you. Yeah, totally. You should get like a Rojas jersey, but make it like it. a little dirty. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, yeah, at that. look at this guy. That is Renee. You should walk her. Look at <laughs> Oh, <that>. shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. What's his name again? So people at home will post it on the Punch Drunk Sports. Miguel, Miguel Rojas. 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 You should get a, one of his jerseys and then like, but get it kind of dirty, and then like after the game, wear it into like the shortstop bar right at the end of the fucking right by Dodger Stadium. Walk <laughs> in like with cleats oh, and shit. Trip out, yeah. <laughs> What's up? That's hilarious. Now Ari, you're in your new place. Yes. Uh, we'll get into baseball and all that stuff. We got what is. Can you text me again the number here so I can send it to this guy? Uh, okay. How's your okay. new place going? Ari, right, with this uh, cool new look that I you got. Today. What? what? Go on. I found a mouse today. Oh, you did? Paul Morrissey left fucking chips out. Fucking what Morrissey. He fucking left chips out, and I heard rustling in a bag. I was like, please let that be a cockroach. Please. Oh, uh, mouse or a rat? There's a big difference. Mouse. Little oh. baby mouse. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, but where there's one mouse, close. there's a lot of rats. It's close. So you're saying they're like Haitians? Yep. Yeah, a lot like Haitians. <laughs> yep. Nobody likes. I like Haitians. No, you don't. They're hardworking people. Was Morrissey well, staying with you when like... he did Letterman? No, uh, he stayed with me. Yeah, I had to leave that that morning, so he couldn't. Uh, I didn't see him. But um. Did you support yeah, him, Ari? The last Haitian anybody liked was the guy from Heroes. The guy, the quiet guy from Heroes. Oh, uh, what about the guy who did? Uh, what about the guy who does? Uh, in uh, who who was in the Tom Hanks movie? The guy from Hotel Rwanda. No, the yeah, the Don one. Cheetah? Oh, from the fucking no, the boat movie. Yeah. Wesley Snipes. Captain oh, Captain Captain Hook. Phillips. Captain, Captain Phillips. Hook. Huge difference between Captain, Captain Hook and Captain Phillips. He was Haitian. Yeah. He's something. Not Liberian or something, or wherever they're from. Who knows? No, dude. You gotta feel for that guy, because he was like in that movie, and he's like, he's so like, I don't wanna say he's unique looking, but I'd rather say he's like hideously ugly. Well, he, 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 he got the award for random ethnic that will never be here to hear That's what I was saying, though. That's what I was Oscars. saying, yep. Remember Precious? Yeah. But, but she's at least worked. 
it's odd. It's got your next role is so big because nobody wants to give you an next role. But just like that guy, just like McLovin. Yeah. And then once they realize, oh, we can put him into lots of stuff, then he can get going. But his second role is gonna be massive. Yep. McLovin still works a lot. He was in the oh, wow. Kick-Ass movie. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying at that second movie was the big one for him. The first one was amazing. The second one is like if he doesn't do another movie, people are like, no, what are you gonna be? Just a kid who looks like he's 12. Yeah. You can't. Well, how you know about I mean? Anthony Melanakis? Oh yeah, exactly. Like that you know, guy. He, like, what's he done? He still looks like a kid. It's amazing. He's like fucking 35, 36. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's fat. Right? What's going on? Sherman. Okay, hold on, dude. Ari, I want to talk to you more yep. about your good looks. And Are you getting a lot of sweet New York City poon with that look? He looks tan, too. Doesn't he look he tan? He looks good. He looks good. This is about the... You have Michael Sherman on the phone? Yeah, Richard do you Sherman. want to take him, Richard Sherman? Richard Michael Sherman. Sherman's a coach for Green Bay, but we don't want him. Ain't about me. Oh shit! Oh, okay, he's already he's already gone. <laughs> welcome uh, to the show. And don't put him on. Please welcome. With the NFL season starting to heat up already. Forty eight days away. Forty eight days away. Please welcome one of the lightning rods of the NFL. Love him or hate him, I love him. Ari hates him. Please welcome Richard Sherman, everybody. I don't hate him. What's good, fellas? Wow, Richard Sherman, you sound very calm. This is, a, this is an off-season, cool, calm, and collected Richard Sherman. What's good, man? Wow, I can't I barely even recognize your voice. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. How are you guys doing? We're doing great while well, we have you on. Uh, the the, the uh, off-season, <laughs> it's flown. Uh, did you do anything exciting in the off-season? You know, I went parasailing in the Bahamas. I've uh, been doing some cool shit. Parasailing, huh? Now, I recently uh, heard uh, you, you started chiming up again. It sounds like you really still hate uh, Michael Crabtree a lot. Uh, come on, man. I mean, uh, this is Cool Comic Collected, Sharon. I don't even want to go there, man, because you know that makes me But you off. did go there. Cool Comic Collected. Can I call you Cool Comic Collected? Or yeah. Or do I have to call you Cool Comic Collected, Sherman? Yeah, you call me Triple C. Triple C? Triple C. Triple C. I'm Triple E. He's Triple C. Triple C, um, now this was the offseason like a week ago when you actually made some comments about Michael Crabtree. Sure did. You know, man, maybe I spoke a little out of turn. Uh, you know, I still want to address that shit. Well, uh, there's been a lot of offseason talking, not only between you and Crabtree, but you and, like, most of the elite cornerbacks who feel, and, I, and again, I'm on your side, CCC, okay? But a lot of people feel it's Seattle's defensive schemes that have allowed you to have the success you've had in the NFL. I don't believe that. I think you're an intelligent player. But I a lot that. of the elites, you believe that? Yeah. Well, okay. That's Jason Tebow talking. A lot of, a lot of the elite cornerbacks think you only thrive because of your defensive schemes. First of all, y'all got to stop bringing up Crabtree because it's pissing me off already. I, you guys are going to make me not cool, calm, and collected. Okay, we don't want, we would not. Well, about me. Sorry about bringing up Michael Crabtree. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to hear the name, dog. Come on. We will not okay. say Michael Crabtree ever again. Well, well let, you're, you have the floor. Actually, the floor. I just want to say one last thing about, about, about that. I, I read a, a thing on Pro Football Talk where they asked Michael Crabtree about you. <laughs> And he had said, you know, he's just another cornerback. I don't think there's – he's nothing for me to worry about. You know, I have to face a lot of uh, – uh, quite a few better DBs than him during the regular season. And uh, I don't know. He seemed like he didn't have anything kind to say about that. That's Michael Crabtree that said that. <laughs> what's, what's that? Who's better what's than you? That? Who's better than you? You got it! You got it! Ain't nobody better than me! Oh. It's like the Hulk, like it's matter, matter. Who are you talking about specifically? I think Crabtree. I'm talking about Crabtree! <laughs> <laughs> and what are he t I mean, you stopped. You basically tipped the pass that stopped them from going to the Super Bowl, and he's still not showing you any respect. What's a brother got to do? I showed him down! Crabtree, I'm going to choke you out! <laughs> Well, choke him out. That that would be a flag, I think. Yeah. I'll take the flag. 
Okay, I'll take the flag. Now, but let's get into this what all about stems from the barbecue? This all stems from just the just the hot dog putting the hot dog on the ground. Yeah. You disrespect the Sherman. You never disrespect me. Legion of Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Take because we have a lot of new listeners now that may not have heard your last appearance. One of them could be Crabtree. In which you broke down the, where the few comes. Uh, it's a barbecue. I believe it's at Larry. Larry Fitzgerald's house. Take us through one more time. We're at Larry Fitzgerald. We're talking about University of Phoenix online. What up, University of Phoenix? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not. Okay, I know you don't like the Cardinals. They're in your division. Um, what is going on? What happened at that barbecue? I got a nice plate. I got some potato salad, some ribs, some chicken, a burger. Now, now, did you double <laughs> down on a main course? I mean, like, that's a really aggressive move to go both hamburger chicken. And ribs. And ribs. That's all. That's no side dishes. That's all main entrees. That's a great point. I'm a main entree type of guy because I'm the main event. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I can so you're walking around this party. You got a plate full of food. Then what happens? I'm going to say what's up to Crab Tree. Give him some death. He knocks the plate out of my head. Give him some dap. I, I gotta be honest, man. That's that's a good normal move amongst friends. Why are you even about to eat? You just, yeah. you just smack food out of their hands, and they gotta go get more food. Yeah. It's fun. That's what friends do. Friend. I'm a motherfucking old mess with. I'm Richard Sherman. Ain't nobody better than me. <laughs> okay. That's okay. that's okay. that's very true. That's the triple C. Calm, cool, that's and collected. That's very cool. Uh, I'm one of these dumb motherfucker comics. You don't mess with me. Uh, I, not me, dude. That's Jason Tebow thinks you're. He thinks that you're. What are you gonna deep... do, Sherman? What are you gonna do? Tip one of our passes away? <laughs> Idiot. Hey, that's Idiot. sexy Ari talking to you right now. His I'll sex. I'll fire Brooklyn right now and I'll take you out. How are you gonna take me out? What does that mean? You're gonna kill me or you're gonna tip a pass away? You <laughs> can't move me, man. Your glasses into your face. <laughs> Put your glasses into your face. That'll hurt. Oh, I'd love to see Richard Sherman punch Ari's glasses into his face. Into my face. <laughs> yep. You're Ari, gonna have glass in your retinas. <laughs> What's okay, bigger to you, Richard Sherman? An NFL football or Ari's nose? Which one do you think is harder to what has a bigger tip? I think the tip of Ari's penis. Oh, you've seen that? Don't ask for it, Richard. He'll show you it right now, and we don't need that on this show. The show's been going really great so far. Take that smile off your face. Ari Shafir, Richard Sherman. Let's just, go. There's, there's a guy coming in from this side that I don't have any control over right now. What do you mean? I'll try to stop him. Hold on. No, no here, man. don't no, do, no. It. do it. Uh, Dude, Richard Sherman. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Do you have a hard on? Why what? is this happening? Are those your balls? Oh, oh my thank God. God! I thought that was the tip of your no, head. No, that is the tip of his head. Is it? Look at the fucking. You can see his dick hole. No, that's not his dick hole. That's his balls. Well, no, it yes, it is. Hole. I told you, dude. You asked. You asked, and it got so much worse. Richard the Sherman. Human penis was a beautiful thing. Uh, Richard Sherman, let me ask. Speaking of penis, who has yeah, the man. biggest dick on the Seattle Seahawks when you're showering? Oh, my Pete Carroll's got a huge hog. <laughs> How big is wow. it? Carroll. Pete Carroll, it's not even a baby's arm. It's a man's arm. <laughs> Pete Carroll's got a baby's arm for a dick. <laughs> why? Why is Pete Carroll showering with you guys? That's a great question. Comes like to bring that collision feel. Cause what? He likes to bring that collision feel. Oh, he, he likes to make it oh like a college atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Everybody's having yeah. a good time. He's slapping towels. People love him. <laughs> hey, did, uh, Richard Sherman, did you watch any of the World Cup? What's sorry? Right? Richard, Richard, calm down. Calm down, Richard. Let's get you. Let's Can get we get back to CCC? Back. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. All right. So let's get well, in. Well, we know what sets him off. Yeah, we do. don't Whenever say the name. Whenever we mention don't Michael Crabtree. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I come can't that's on. one mention. That. That's one mention, man. You know how many it takes to get me riled up. It's right like on. Beetlejuice, it is. dude. If you said it again. Crabtree, Crabtree, Crabtree. <laughs> <laughs> I suspected you, man. I suspected you. Come uh, down, dude. Let's get into this. Can we talk? Can we talk off season. What do you think of LeBron going back to Cleveland? Man, I respect LeBron. You gotta go home sometimes. If it was a football team in Compton, I'd be there. Would you? If the Raiders moved back to LA, would you play for them? Hell yeah, man. Richard, are you dating anybody? But you know, that would mean, that, that would mean you couldn't play for Legion of Boom anymore. Yeah. You choose one team, really. Yeah, if you left, you'd no longer be in the Legion of Boom. Or, or I'll are you? i man. I'm a master marketer. I love that. Are you dating anybody? Master marketing? Yeah. I don't like to tie down with one woman. I got a couple different ladies. You got a couple of them, huh? Spinning plates, are you? Any famous ones? Ain't nobody fuck better than me. <laughs> no, but... Who gets more chicks, you or Michael, Michael Crabtree? Crabtree. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bring up Crabtree. Crabtree and me, y'all. Crabtree have been fucking dudes. <laughs> Crabtree, would you say Crabtree has gay face? Let's be honest. Um, can you bring up a picture of Michael Crabtree? I'm not Michael Crabtree right now. I don't know. Let's be honest. I don't think so. You gotta want to choke him out because his eyes are gonna be popping out of his head. Does he have gay face? Um, I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna go off and say no, maybe. but maybe. All right, it's officially does Do you? It. No. It's you not don't... like gay face, but it's not like straight face either. Yeah, I agree with that. It's either straight nor gay. If somebody's like this, look at the picture of this guy. He's, He's got a gay, bi face. Like, yeah, bi right. face. Sounds bi weird. face goes both way face. Goes both ways face. Nice. Hey, uh, Richard Sherman, we gotta get going, but real quick, uh, per yeah, I mean maybe. Maybe. What? What? Little gay face. He's got more of like crazy face to me. Okay. Richard Sherman, real quick, uh, what can we expect from CL this year? We're going undefeated. You're you're not gonna lose wow. one game. Don Shula, we're coming for you. Wow. Wow. Mercury Marlins, you ain't shit. Uh, Ari or Tebow, do you got anything le you want to say to them real quick? I just I'm looking very forward to seeing uh, Triple C D up uh, Michael Crabtree this year. Yeah, Crabtree ain't gonna catch one pass. I think he'll catch six passes for uh, 78 yards in the first game, and uh, the second game uh, you'll really key on him, but he'll still burn you for like three catches and a touchdown. Ari Shafir. Even in games we ain't playing, and I'm in the middle of the field, the knockdown pass is coming to him. I Ari's think their first time they play is Thanksgiving too. I think that's their first. Uh, Match in that up. scenario, oh, yeah. Ari. Pay, pay for your Thanksgiving meal, you'll, eat, you'll be eating crow. Whoa. Not, he says you're not even going to have turkey there, Richard Sherman. No, I'm going to beat him with a turkey leg. <laughs> in this scenario, Ari, who's the, who's the pilgrim, who's the Indians when it comes to Richard Sherman and the guy will not say his name? Michael Crabtree. Come on. Okay. Um, I would say the Pilgrims and the Indians. Let's see how are we comparing them to. I mean, one is the, Sherman is one's the oppressor. oppressor, the other is the uh, getting oppressed. I would say that Michael Sherman fired. I mean, uh, Michael Crabtree fired the first shot with knocking the food down. Definitely. Okay. But it, the, the the kind of devastation that the Indians have taken since then, since not welcoming the white people with open arms, just that first day, it's been kind of out, over. And I think the same goes for this too. I think now. Um, you're now the Pilgrims, but the Pilgrims have turned into, like, evil white men. That's who you are, Michael Sherman. Congratulations, Richard. Richard Sherman. You are the Pilgrims of the Football League. Oh, I hope you get a rat infestation. <laughs> oh, he's got a rat infestation. <laughs> All right. You're a punk. You're a punk. Why you ever go to sleep? A mouse is going to run over your face. I love it. I don't even have a clue what he's saying. And I'm going to go to sleep. A mouse is going to run all over your face. <laughs> Richard Sherman, everybody, please call back anytime all the call, time. Call cool and collected, Richard Sherman. I love you. Ari, 
We have to call. We have some people calling in yeah. in five minutes. Should we take a call on the UFC or should we talk more? What do you want to do? Let's talk a little more. All right. Tell uh, Justin doing? to call back uh, after one o'clock, and then we'll we'll get into some UFC. But we're not gonna have time right now. Justin, call back. Well, he, well, we, I can, let's talk about it right now. Another Rousey okay. fucking bore. Another snore for Rousey. Okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Justin, you're there. Are you there? Hang on. There we go. Justin. Another snoring fucking, oh yeah, another girl that has no chance to fight fighting. Hi, Justin. You're on Punch Drunk Sports, home of champions. You're from San Jose. What's the word, son? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I don't know if you guys got into it already, but uh, we guys think about um, the UFC canceling 176. Uh, what do I think about them canceling it? Yeah. Why did they cancel 176? I think because me, um, Aldo. Uh, Aldo couldn't fight in the main event, so they canceled the whole event. What pisses me off yeah, about yeah, it is that it was here in L.A., and it's one that we probably yeah. all could have easily have gone to. I, Our I good friend Daryl Lamontre bought two, bought two tickets to it. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a problem with these light cards. You can oversaturate it and make a light card where there's only one real fight. And even that fight, nobody's really interested in that division. That is no, exactly about, what happened here. Yep. Yeah. So you're talking about, like, eh. I mean, what's the next best fight? Souza versus Musasi? Yeah. Ray Maynard versus. That's why I mean, it's like so what yeah, we've been I mean, saying, yeah. man. That's where you hurt yourself. These fights, I'm not blaming Jose Aldo. He just got injured. But it's like the fight shouldn't rest on one dude. Yep. It's yep. not like they're doing it at Cowboy Stadium or anything. Right. Uh, Staples Center, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, all right, it's a normal it's a normal stadium to, to fight in. We've been saying this forever on the show that basically what's happened is the UFC is trying to saturate the market so Bellator can't get any footing. There's been a couple yep. articles since has come out and basically I've said read that. I've quite a few, yeah. And... Uh, they've hurt their. They've really hurt their their brand. Their brand. I I mean like, I I just feel like people are already talking about the glory days of the UFC. Well, the thing about it is, and and I, and I do I can relate to that is that I it used to be a thing where every UFC you would chunk out time. To, it's like I gotta watch that. That's it's good. Yeah, I'm we going. Make plans. We gotta do and now like, I uh, pick and choose. Now I cherry pick which event. I'm like, oh, there's another one three days later. Uh, who's on it? Ah, I'll read about that one. You know, yeah. I cherry pick which ones I want to watch versus even as recent as a year ago, a year and a half ago, I would watch every fucking event. All right. Do you yeah. think that uh, a big problem the UFC has is, and just go with me on this, is as the sport's gotten bigger, better athletes have come into it. And let's be honest, maybe these athletes don't necessarily have the character or the personality that these kind of outlaws back in the day had. So it's almost like comedy right now, right? I mean, and I know more you, injuries. you're, what's that? And a lot more injuries lately. That is true. Yeah. There's a lot more of that. Uh, yeah, I think the problem is when you get a lot of better back, athletes. Uh, of hold on, just, hold on, Justin. Is so important, okay. And then it becomes a little bit more boring. There's less like just crazy, like Danger, one. Danger, yeah. One type of martial arts against another type of martial arts. Where it's like well-rounded versus well-rounded. And it's like, all right. I see comedy in the UFC very much alike. You know, like comedy in its heyday, the 70s or 80s, early not. You know, when there was all these like crazy guys, like these crazy personalities. Now it's all like good-looking people who just find funny things to say. Don't really have a funny. Yeah, that is Brett Morin. You're not wanted here. Stop! Brett Bourne's nice. It's supposed to be for nerds, not people like you. I like Brett Bourne. Get out of here, Dalia. Get out of here, Morin. Fucking. Uh... Who else? Hit the bricks, oh, Fahim Anwar. Fahim's funny. Yeah. He's too pretty. Too good He's looking. Other guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's uh, the guy? Hey, guy with the K name, real tall tennis player. Oh, Kurt Kurt, Kurt Fox? Fox. No, the other. The last name with a K. Mike, no, oh, Mike, uh, Mike Costa. Costa. Yeah, get out of here, all you guys, get out yep. of here, Theo Vaughn, get out of here. Yep. Get out of here. We're doing stuff here. So far, you haven't listened to anyone where I'm like, ah, they're not funny. Just hit the bricks, Andrew Santino. They're all funny. Yeah, get the fuck out. It's not for you. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Nothing to do with funny. It should be. You're supposed to be a social reject. 
Can yep. be good looking and funny. Morin yeah, can even I sing good. I mean, what's well, this guy want? I love all Morin. the pussy. I think Morin's funny. Uh, undateable is uh, it's it's good. The typical show for typical people, but it's doing well. I've heard. Is it doing well? I heard it was doing way better than I thought it would. It's I think it might pick, pick it back up again. Huh. Maybe they're trying to rush him out two at a time. Justin, now do you like the show Undateable? I only saw one episode, and it was pretty good. And and, and it. And you, why didn't you go back keep to watch mind, more? Keep in mind, he says, I, I've only saw okay. one episode <laughs> instead of I've only seen one episode. So he might not be the best. He's uh, not a redneck. He's from like San Jose, one of my favorite cities to gig in. <laughs> you can be white traffic Yeah, I've seen all you guys when you guys came out the other, uh, in December, I think. Oh, with Red Band? Yeah, with Red Band and Tiffany. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that, was that was a fun was a, show. That was a fun show. That was a good show. Yeah, you guys, there's a lot of fucking weed and... Remember we went to that weird <laughs> fucking weed place afterwards? The yeah, yeah, I heard about that. You guys were talking about that on uh, one of the Ice House Chronicles. Uh -huh. Here's the thing about female comics. When you go around, it's like... It's like... I feel like we have to be like her protectors. Right. And it's like, but in a weird I'm way, not hitting that. No. Why do I got to protect no. that? She's an adult. Yeah, so I you saw you guys after the show, you guys were all, uh, you guys were like circling her. Yeah, because like you could just see like sharks coming. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah. And you're like, why am I? I like who did I go out with? Little Kimmy from uh, 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 Kill Tony. Yeah. Like I brought her down to San Diego, and she's she's fun to work with, but she was like openly like putting it out there to all these drunk dudes uh, at PB, and I go, Kim, I'm not gonna save you. Yeah. You're oh, gonna no, you shouldn't have to. You treat her like an adult. I mean, she knows what she's doing. You're yeah. going to get these drunk fucking marine baboon looking dumb fucking Neanderthals. Yeah. Fucking Dude, revved girl. up. And I'm not going to come in here saving the day. Yeah. If you're going to get raped, I'm going to be beating off and watching. Yeah. Dude, yeah. That girl Kim loves to get fucked. She's a, she loves sex. Yeah, but yeah. I think she's she just kind of only bangs black guys. Sh There's a I've lot of girls that. now that like, I just bang black guys. You know she's banging as an Alex kid. Yeah, I hear she's in love with him. Who's, oh, really? Wait, which one's Kim? The one that's in uh, from Tony Florida? All the time? What's her name's cousin? Michaela's cousin. Oh, Michaela's yeah. cousin. Yeah, I heard she loves to fuck. Like, black guys. I just heard she loves to fuck. Who'd you hear that from? Your dick? <laughs> like, what chick doesn't love to fuck? <laughs> Who's the, where's uh, that chick's like, oh, I don't love the fuck. <laughs> I do have in, in, in relation to other girls who love it less. Well, who's our top chicks who love the fuck? Top chicks who love the fuck? At the comedy store. Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler loves the fuck. She loves the fuck. And she deserves it. She's been, she's a fucking champion. Yeah. She's a fucking champion. Yeah. She, I mean, like, dude, the girl dominated. Now she's, like, getting insane money from Netflix to do her show yeah. on Netflix. Like insane money. Would you, uh, on a one to ten, how much would you want to bang her, Ari? Chelsea, Chelsea Handler? Yeah. I mean, it I imagine if she was showing. hammered, if you got her really hammered, she, I bet she's just filthy in bed. Yeah, but I mean, like, do you really? Oh, yeah, a hundred percent she is. Yeah. Do you, hold on. So you, I mean, but is she, are you really like, I really want to bang no. that chick? No, I have zero no, desire to no, bang no. her. That doesn't. Doesn't mean she I would be there at night when you're drinking or when you're like having fucked in like four or five days and then she's there going, hey, all right. And she's you're hammered, like, oh. talking shit to you, and you're like, well. Yeah, even if I'm not drunk, I'll still fuck Chelsea Handler. Yeah. Just for the story. No, no, no. Even if she's not a name. Yeah, but what if what if her name. midget her midget friend's like fisting you in the ass while you're hammering her? Well, now, that would be less that would be less of a, of a Oh, see, I was going the other way. I'm like, yeah, I got a midget fisting me. That'd be hot, man. This time she looks yeah. good. I don't know about that. <laughs> Justin said to this, sometimes she looks good. I don't, do you think she ever looks good? Yeah, I think so. I, do I you? don't think Chelsea's... Uh, I mean, I don't think she's is, ugly. She's I got think, big floppy tits. It's nice. The thing is, like, I used to do a lot of coke, and I know she loves coke, so we would have gotten yeah. along really well back yeah. in my party days. Like... I'm sure she's had tons of guys do coke out of her asshole. I'm sure she was all. I love cocaine. She but now has. I got a, I'm a new I got a new sponsor. I'm sober and I'm back in the wagon kicking some ass. But back What'd in the you day, gak gak gaks all day. Would you have let a midget fist you while you're banging her? Why? Why not? 
You guys are fucking pissing me off. With Hold this. on, have you ever been fisted? <laughs> Not by a midget. Okay, <laughs> that's well, my point. <laughs> Ari, I don't think you're really kinky. I bet he is. I've never heard Ari tell us like one of his weird kinks. I bet well, he is. I'll tell I, you what I'm into, Sam. Knocking girls up and bouncing. <laughs> Sam, put the phone away. No, I have to do this. <laughs> what do you have to do? I'm just... I, Share with the class. I'm trying to get our sponsor, who we're supposed to have call in, call in! Okay? You did it already. Somebody's got to do talking. something. Between you're too we're busy talking. and you're too crazy, someone's got to do something. How's he busy? How am I crazy? We're just talking about getting fisted by a midget, and now someone's talking to a sponsor. <laughs> this is stuff you should do ahead of time. Oh, now, really, Ari? Cause I don't have, I don't, I'm doing nothing all day, 24 seven. That I just should sit all day and do everything. No, but while you're saying you should, you should call in today. Now I know how Richard Sherman feels. <laughs> Why would I lie? <laughs> Thank you. Why would you lie? Why would I lie? Justin? Why would he lie? What do, what do you do for a living, Justin? I work at a warehouse in Fremont. You work at a warehouse? What kind of warehouse? Like, what are you warehousing? Uh, just uh, medical equipment. Medical equipment. Man, fuck this bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's like really boring. So why don't you do something? I'm actually <laughs> calling while I'm on the job, so. Oh, that's cool. I he is doing Fuck out of that. On Trunk Sports. <laughs> hey, can you, do, can you be our, uh, our warehouse correspondent? <laughs> Yeah, yeah sure. we need to know. We know. need to know stackings and international okay, law. You, you ever beat off at work? What are the odds that a shipment filled with drugs had a label fall off while it was in the Memphis warehouse? Say that again? What are the odds that a shipment that happened to be filled with drugs had a label fall off when it was halfway to delivered? It got all the way to Memphis and then the label fell off. What are the odds on that? Does that happen a lot, Justin, in the warehouse biz? Do labels fall off a lot? Or is that just something they say oh, when no, they find they, out? They usually slap on like 20 labels just, just in case. Oh. Yeah, the labels didn't fall off, you're saying. Or yeah. like you'll, you'll label the box and then shrink wrap it, put plastic over it. All right. Right. Well, Dust, J D Justin, I uh, appreciate you calling. We're going to talk more UFC in a little while. Uh, love right, him, San Jose. Love them bitches. Love them hoes. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go to training my correspondent. Kink, Sam, my kink, Sam, is I like to choke bitches. I like to I like to fucking slap their face. I like to pull their hair hard and fucking punch their ass. Just punch it. Do you really? Wait, you, you punch asses? Yeah, tie them up. You don't punch tie them asses, up. Ari. I've tie never up, heard that once. This. Yeah, punch an ass. You like Catch to punch an ass? Seriously. Yeah. You can slap. You can slap. You like punch. a slap, but you want to punch it? Yeah, but not sideways. Fucking put straight in. in I think he, hang on, Sam. I think he misunderstood the question because what we had asked you was, what are you into sexually? And I think you misinterpreted that as, do you like to beat up women? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But that's what makes me hard. I like choking until you can't breathe. Do you think he's being serious? Do you I, think he's I really think into he, that? I think everything that Ari just said is 100% true. You like to choke chicks in bed. Love it. Love it. And smack them? Uh, when you work up to it, sure. And what? how do they take you that? Slap them in the face? Slap them in the face, man. Wow. wow. Yeah, spit in their face once or twice. Wow. T uh, speaking of your asshole taking a beating, please welcome to the show the tranny correspondent. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up? Hey, dude, really quickly. Uh, I want to say I agree with everything you... Ari says, but I could never really, I could never like have the balls to do that because yeah, well, because who you're fucking usually has the balls. Like <laughs> Ari. Well, it's you hard know? to smack a chick around when she's got a bigger hands and a dick than you. I don't know. I, True, just, I guess I have a conscience. I mean, I, no, Ari's you have no conscience. You got fucked in the ass by a Hollywood tranny. There's yeah, but nobody's yeah, doing their will. Hey, real really quick, stopped, dude. This it. is a very important question. Yeah. Bareback or condom? Be honest. Oh, what are you talking about? Last week? Yeah. Was sunset? Yeah. yeah. Well, it started protected, and 
And then it went yeah. bye bye. Hold on. So you got, dude, really quickly. This is important. This is important. You got banged in the ass by a Hollywood tranny yeah. with no condom on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, you were you weren't there last week. He wasn't. Man. I mean, I admitted all that. Yeah. Okay, real quick. Where we did get, he come? Sha na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. You, my friend, have AIDS. He's a gay one. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. No, dude. Hey, watch you this. Are not wait, good. wait, wait. Tranny correspondent. You what? are not good, dude. Wait, do you this? Yeah, he's good. Where did the tranny come? Um, right where I asked her to. Where? Uh, on my face. <laughs> did you swallow a lot of it? Oh my god, dude. I mean, I get being in the kinky shit, dude. But you <laughs> you let a street hooker bang you in the ass. Street hooker with no condom. No condom! Santa Monica and Vine. Oh Fuck my buddy. god! This is Taylor's theory. Was... The reason the, con the, the hooker was okay with fucking without a condom. Yeah. She's already got AIDS. You're no longer a tranny correspondent. You're our dead man walking correspondent. Sha na na na. Sha na na na. Hey, goodbye. Hey. Oh, man. Now I have an another friend with AIDS. Okay, so now I got two. Now three. Three friends with AIDS. <laughs> you including Ari on that? What? Including Ari? No, Ari, I have Ricky Luna. Our friend who has the original AIDS, yep. Jeff Scott. Yep. Like the angry, yeah. angry AIDS that really killed everybody. Yeah. Like that guy beat it. That's like Mexican Coke before it was called Mexican Coke. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. was like AIDS before corn syrup. <laughs> like, like that's the original crystal meth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like none of this high-tech laboratory shit. So anyways, let's get into the NBA. Uh, so having AIDS, yeah, is that going to affect who you vote on? What's that? I have uh, some thoughts on NBA. Who, who like the winners and losers of off season so all far? Right, you know? All right, all right, all right. Let's hear it. Winners, Cavs, obviously. No, re obviously, obviously we can tell why. Uh, Mavericks, because Mavericks got Chandler back. They got Parsons now. He's a good small forward. They still have Dirk. They got Dirk on a on a cheap deal. Yep. And they still have they still have Ellis who had a good year last year. Yeah, they they, they are they, significantly they better Harris. than the Mavericks. He's a good Dallas player. is gonna make a run. Dallas will be a top top five at least. They'll definitely be a playoff team now. Dude, I mean like Absolutely. go through their lineup. I mean, with the exception of point guard, they pretty much are have a good player at every position. Yeah. I'm going to their lineup right now. It, I don't know they who they're put the Clippers, they added that Haas guys, but they, they lost that they they added Haas, but they lost Collison, so they're kind of a they're kind of a wash so far. I, I agree with that. I I mean, T Bone and I talked about I we're not excited about the signing of Farmer. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not good. Yeah. You know, I don't think he's a guy that Chris Paul goes down can not only uh, just fill in, but actually. Yeah, Chris, get some wins. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like it. So, uh, but I'm not. I'm just not bad. I'll take Spencer Hawes. We need one more backup guy, and we need a. Here's what upsets me about the Clippers: is our last two draft picks, Jordan Farmer. Jo excuse me, Jordan Lee told me this. Our last two draft picks, scoring guards, scoring forward, but more two scoring guards, have been guys who came from Chris Paul's basketball camp. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And both times he's like, yeah, I'm really proud. Another guy from my camp. I don't like that because we need a yeah. scoring forward, and there was a couple guys. We need a scoring forward and a backup power forward, and we had those guys were on the board. Right. That guy from Wichita State, Anthony like Cleary or something like that, that he was available. Michigan. And then well, no, he wasn't available. The Clippers need the Clippers need to contend now, so they're not going to do it with the draft. The Clippers have one or two more years of Chris Paul's prime left, and if they don't do it, I then, think three. It's not but I think you're Clippers, right, three so. more years. Yeah, the, the Clippers are done. Let's stop talking about them. Let's move on to teams what? that are what? relevant. Whoa. So here's right. the Dallas. Dallas has team that's fucked up in free agency. The Wizards. Ta because Ari, they gave, Ari, they gave the guy five, has five, AIDS. Let million. him talk. He's not going to be around much longer. Go on. You're, you're right. 
Gortat, he sucks. They gave him sixty million. The Wizards. Uh, I disagree with that, dude. I think he's more than functional for what they need. A ten million dollar a year deal, pretty much, right? Yeah, but they're just going to remain a, a middle of the road team. I, d- like, I disagree with that they're wholeheartedly. Not, they're not a contender, even in bad I disagree. years. He's washed up. They're not a contender. I disagree. I disagree. The Wizards. Well, Gortat's stats, and he's 30 now. Let's see what his stats were. I'm going to tell right you something. Now. You know what the Wizards are going to do? Year. They're going to hold off. A game, 13 points per game. He definitely. Dude, the Wizards are in play for Kevin Durant. He, something was oh, actually yeah. put out that if he leaves the Thunder, he's going. He, he would only go to the Wizard. He's Why? in play because he's well, from you Baltimore. John Wall. Oh. You got John Wall, who's yeah. great. John Wall. Yeah, that's overrated. He's no, overrated. He's not, he's not, he's not. Seen, no, he's not, dude. No, he's not. Up until this year, I thought he was overrated. He's got athleticism, but he's got no he head for the game. Defense. And he's got an ugly shot. So what are you saying? Stop him. being included in the All Star game was ridiculous. He's like, it's a, it's a slight on him. He's like, dude, you barely qualify. Dude, he should. Like- Hold on, stop. He should have been All Star MVP last game. The kid is legit. I uh, and I was telling you, and you could go back to old things. Up until the season, I was like, not. Nah, he's not panning out. I agree. He's, I, I totally agreed with you. Till he's this year. legit. Yeah, this is till the first this year. year. Yeah. This is the first year where you're. Where so you, you got John Wall. You potential. got Bradley Beal, who's pretty good. 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 A and young kid. John, 30 John Wall is a, is a thug. You're never going to win with a thug as your point guard. You need a guy with a, a head, somebody mentally stable as your point guard. We're talking putting it's, it in the basket, not your asshole. Stop talking about heads here, okay? Listen. Okay. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Training correspondent, let me ask you this. Of everybody in the NBA, who do you wish was a tranny the most? Great question. I don't know. Maybe like... Um, God, that's a tough question. Uh, can't be too tall. I mean, six twos, they'll probably the limit. I don't know. All right. Uh, bag I mean, of he, bets. He did have, don't forget, he did have 8.8 assists per game. Like, he was and four rebounds a game. Like, he was. <laughs> he's really up there. Evil. Helping. He's not just a score. This is evil. What is it? <laughs> Who wants to do a bag of bets? This is so evil. Read it. Right, bag of bets on who dies first Dustin versus Tranny Hooker. Oh, my God. God. Wow. Dude, I'm healthy. I've been running the last couple of weeks. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, because I mean, the AIDS is just getting started. <laughs> it's just, you know. It's have, you like, had, have you had any trannies since you called in last week? Uh, no, but I, I uh, there was one um, last night, but, you know, I jacked off instead. We went, dude, I was driving down San Monica Boulevard the other day. This tranny is... It's got to be the greatest marketing I've ever seen. She was just in her underwear on the corner, pulled her pants down, and just spread her asshole. And I was like, if you're into that, what? That's that's like that's the Get greatest out. sales pitch ever. Wow. Yeah. If you're into that, that's a sales pitch. Imagine if you were driving down a street and some hot chick is just bent over, spreading her cooch open. You're like, I'm in. Okay. I'll, let's negotiate this. Unbelievable. If I'm selling asshole, that's the best what sales time pitch. What day was this? It was midnight. It was like oh. way late. It was hilarious. Um, LeBron James, let's get into it. Well, I mean, you're not going to win with a bunch of rookies on your team. I mean, they they need to get somebody. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. To play with them. I I was uh, yes. I went to summer leagues. Sorry, this is the fifth year in a row I've been to the summer leagues. I go to the NBA summer leagues every year for five years. Uh, I've seen them all. Uh, I watched Wiggins, and I got to be honest with you, yeah. if I'm the Cavs, I trade him right now. His value is never higher yeah. than it is right now. And the fact that anybody thinks it would be stupid to trade on Andrew Wiggins for Kevin Love, it's ridiculous. The best you can hope for. Great move, trading. What's that? You trade Kevin trade Wiggins right now for Kevin Love. Yeah, right now. Yeah, because he plays LeBron's position anyway. Right yeah, now. and. Kevin Love is a proven fucking top five player in basketball right now. Helps your team. Yeah, immediately. Wins, immediately. Wins versus your placement. Yeah. Wiggins is all potential. The best you can really hope for. If he turns into Kevin Love, you're super stoked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not sure they would even take that. So here's another idea. Yeah, like, no, if, I'm the, if I'm the T-Wolves, I'm like, no, you don't get Kevin Love. 
you gotta give me something more. But uh, the wolves are idiots. No, but they're they're gonna lose Kevin Love. He has less but I think they should, they should maybe, maybe if they can't get Love, they should look into. Uh, I thought of this when I was stoned, but I think this might be a good idea. You trade uh, the same thing you offered the wolves for Kevin Love. Trade to the Pistons for Josh Smith. No, but dude. you have something in the contract hey. saying you know Josh Smith is not allowed to shoot three pointers. Hey. Hey. Josh Smith is a guy who get out of here with that dog shit. Yeah, the AIDS is affecting your brain. I think it's already fucking trickling. Why down would you trade Wiggins for for I'm Josh Smith? Shooting. That That's makes insane. no sense. It's the dumbest You're thing crazy. I've ever heard. The a dude, get they AIDS literally pod. fucked your brains out. That he was literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He prefaced it with, uh, oh. "Now nah, you know I was pretty stoned, uh, and I was getting railed in the ass by." A <laughs> By a, by a tranny when I thought of this, but uh, what about this? You trade you trade Wiggins today for Scotty Pippen. I, I, I think that's the way that would go. Dude, uh, I, we'll get back Here's to what they got. Here's what they got. Here's what they got that's good. Uh, Anderson Vera, Vera, whatever his name is. Yeah, Virgil. 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 LeBron James. Both yep. of those are great. Keep, keep him. They're 31 and 29. Keep him. We have Kyrie Irving is 22. Keep him. Anthony Bennett is fucking 21. Anthony Bennett, a dude, I was there. He he was at the summer leagues. Looks great. They might have to trade him with Wiggins. I'm fine. If I'm if I'm Minnesota, I go this. I want the your Canadian trio. Give me all three of the Canadians: Tristan Thomas, Anthony Bennett, and Andrew Wiggins. That is a great trade for both teams. Yeah. Who was the first guy? Tristan Thompson is their power forward. So now you got a guy who fills in for love. Then you go scoring forward, Anthony Bennett. Your shooting guard is Andrew Wiggins, Rubio, and then the fucking guy from the Superman movie. The uh, dude. The if you had, if you had, if you had uh, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin and Love, Love as your big three. Yeah. And then you have Barrett Howe, whatever his name is, as a backup. Virgil. As like you know. A, Barajow, and who else do you have? You need your next three. Who are you giving me your next three? Definitely Barajow. You, you have uh, Dion Wa Waiters. You have, uh, you can, I mean, dude, you'll be able to plug anybody in there. No, but you need the people. Like, the, the Heat needed Mike Miller. You can't just plug anybody in. You need, listen, you need a guy who can play. Can we pick this up when we take a little break real quick? Why don't we finish it and then take a break? Okay, we can do that too. Um... I think it's. I think that's enough, dude. I think there's enough free agents that you could pick up decent fill-in people. Yeah, first things first with them. They got to move Wiggins. And look at this. This this is I was telling Tebo this. And the Bronx is small forward, if anything. He is a small forward. And Wiggins is a shooting guard. That's what they want. But dude, if you can get Kevin Love with, dude, you're bringing in Kevin Love. Everyone's and I say here, Kevin Love putting big numbers on a shitty team in the West. If the Minnesota Timberwolves were in the East, he would have been a four seed. Right. Yeah. So anyways, so you're bringing in Kevin Love. Kevin Love at the best is going to be your number two option, but probably your number three option. How amazing is that? Incredible. Yeah. I mean, that's... I would put up Kevin Love, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving. I guarantee you they could be LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade. How much of a backbreaker is it going to be? Thank Irving, you, me. Kyrie Irving dishes a sweet pass to LeBron. LeBron fucking takes it, misses it. Love right there, rebounds, kicks it back out to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving misses another one. Kevin Love tips it in. Uh, How yeah. much would that break the back of a team? Yeah, exactly, dude. Here's the thing about here's the thing about Kyrie Irving, and I said it before, one of the three most naturally gifted scores I've ever seen play basketball. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, those are hard, violent scores. Yeah. Take it to the whole angle. These guys, this guy floats, dude. He floats. I love that commercial dude, that he Cleveland did with just like barely, the old guy. Cleveland missed the playoffs by five games last year. Who? They barely were out. Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah, and that shitty I mean, East. They weren't terrible. They weren't terrible. They were bad, but they weren't terrible. They were just young. Yeah, I make yeah, that trade now. twice on third dude let me tell you and then we'll get to joe no joe's gotta hold still on get miami's pick next year yeah how much is miami Tom. pissed no shit hey yeah. i think this oh, move they got two wins now. they got one two championships out of it they can't be upset no yeah. they're not for a good run man yeah Everyone's acting like they're fucked it's like nobody in miami's pissed. Heard about in miami for five years 
I think yeah, this move. Bosh, all those guys are like, no, we did great. We they overpaid. Dude, they just paid Dwayne Wade like 15 mil a year. I mean, they're salary cap hell right now. Dude, that that Chris Bosh deal, I get why they did it. Paid way too much. Yeah. I would have let him go. I know, I know. people are crazy. They should go rebuild. Rebuild. This next draft. As as LeBron leaves, you rebuild. Is great, dude. Dude, there's like three or four seven-footers skilled back to the basket, super banging seven-footers. We, dude, if you don't love NBA basketball, you're... Eric Montrose style? Dude, Eric, did you say Eric Montrose style? He really did. He Never sure been did. said in the history of mankind. Unbelievable. Except for maybe his mother. <laughs> That's all. That, no, that's it. I Two think, people on the planet have ever said that there's an Eric Montrose. I think style. Eric Mo, Eric Montrose style is what Eric Montrose says right before he comes. <laughs> yes, I'm an Eric Montrose style. <laughs> uh, get it out, Montrose. Get it out. I've ever heard in my life. That is so funny. Oh my god. Um, but dude, if you look at LeBron James moving, it changed the NBA. Now there's no super teams. There's no team that has more than two superstars. Yeah. Right now. When he was going to stay in Miami, yeah, they, everyone was loading up on super teams. I, Camille's going to the Chicago. Chris Bosh might go to, you know, it's just like the people are trying to set up super. Now it's like. It's They're still trying to set it up. The Lakers are still signing people that Jeremy Lin, they know they can get rid of next year. They're like, all right, we're going for Durant But that's next what they year. should do. Is Durant next year? Is Durant next year? No, it's the year after. Shh. Fucking Lakers. No, no, no. no. Again, everybody. I think he no might be the next the one. Again. I think he's next season. I, what? I think it's either this season or next season. But people are setting him up. Either way, though, guys, can we all agree that times are good when the Lakers definitely are not going to make the playoffs this year? Yep. Two if years I'm, in a row. There's no way they make the playoffs. <laughs> no way. And they're already talking about Kobe's piss and why out. Kobe, you did this. And don't try to you talk to Kobe it. fans about this. Oh, no. Don't try to bring up that he fucked the team. They flip out. They sure hate it. They oh, yeah. flip yeah. It's out. like telling a girl that you don't find Amy Poehler funny. That's exactly <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> Watch him just like, we, 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 what? Yeah, 100% I'm with you. True. That's a great example. Ari's on fire today. That, um, on fire! That new he's sexy look he's got. Fun. Dude, it's just sexy. I, I love TV Ari. He's just so confident and just fucking... That. What, TV Ari? It's good having Ren is easy back out here. Hey, yeah. should we take Joe or should we take a break? Joe who, Barnick? No, this guy Joe wants to talk no, Wizards. Barnick didn't call again. Take a break? Renee wants to take a break. He runs everything. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in five minutes. He's got a paella cooking he's got to deal with. Yeah, he sure with. does. He's got two kids to deliver. He's got to beat off Eric <laughs> Montra style. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Mexican.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to fucking Punch Drunk. Ari seems to be making some sort of pasta, some sort of matzah something. I don't even want to know. It's more like pasta. It's more like pasta. Oh, make, oh you're making some pasta. I got pasta. you. Uh, everyone, bet, go to betdsi.com or .eu. Uh, you get $10 sure off if you say... Get what? your free money, degenerates. Yeah, and that's coming from a Jew. When he hears free money, yeah. he knows he's not fucking around. Uh, go there, you get $10. Use Punch Drunk Sports or Punch Drunk Sports, and you get $10 of free money to gamble. So gamble, keep winning, keep winning, keep winning, and then keep gambling because that's the way you roll. Also, go to Caveman Coffee. Use the code Punch Drunk Punch Drunk Sports, and you get 10% off of some of the best coffee out there. That real tooth chippers drink. Yeah. Now, let's get back to Beth DSI for a second. Let's. If you should find yourself in a position where you have to make, let's say, $70,000 by Monday, which yep. happens in movies a lot, you could go the old way of uh, trying to rob a bank or something, or you could go BetsDSI.com. Yeah. Keep doubling it down on sports you don't even know about. Just Turn your $10 into $70,000. Then pay for your mom's apartment. She lived there since she was a child. Do yep. the right thing. Yep. And when you win $70,000, how about sending a shout out to your boys on Twitter that helped you get that? And that's Punch Drunk, yeah. Ari, Sam, and Teeb. And that's BetDSI.com. Uh, also, Comic-Con. I am I will be down there for Comic-Con doing uh, uh, the Thunder Pussy Death Squad show. And I believe I'm also on the other Death Squad uh, regular stand-up show. And I believe that's the 23rd and the 24th. Um, so we're, everyone's going to be down there for Comic-Con. Sam's going to be at Madhouse. I'll be at American Comedy Company. Uh, all right, where are, you, where are you going? Montreal next? Montreal next, yeah, next week. I also have a show that just announced in Brooklyn, New York, at the Bell House, August 21st. $15 in advance, 20 at the door. I'll be all ready right, my hour. You, when are you coming back out here? Um, I'll be there for... I might come for Shroomfest for a day or two. Maybe, maybe not. But um, otherwise, September when I shoot the uh, storytelling show, September 9th. The um, uh, uh, Fraser Smith, when, whenever you're back out here, Ari, Fraser wants to have all three of us on his radio show at the same time. Oh, interesting. Let's do the whole thing. Yeah, I'm in for that. The Punch Run crew go, go on, on Fraser's show and talk a little sports. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm in for, for that. that. On K Rock or what is he on K Rock? What is he on something? KLOS. KLOS, yeah. Let's take. Uh, all right, we've got a new segment I want to do with you. Let's get into. Uh, this guy's been on hold for like half an hour. Can we take him? Yeah, sure. sure. All right. He here is a guy from DC. He is a, a, a maybe he's a wizard fan, maybe he's not, but he wants to chime in on our whole wizard talk. Please maybe, welcome Joey from DC. Maybe Joey wants to talk about real wizards. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. Joey? Joey, what's up? No, I think the uh, that training correspondent didn't know what he was talking about. I think the Wizards can be top two seed in the East. I mean, the Heat, I think, are going to be like five, six, seven seed. The Pacers were like a 500 team the second half of the season last year. So I don't know who else is going to be up there. But and they just an hour ago, they signed um Cleveland, some, Chicago could be up there. Oh, who'd they sign? Chicago. It's Chris Humphrey, back. Three years, $13 them. million, which I don't think is overpaying. I mean, he's a solid player. but Who did that? Who? The Wizards? Wizards. Yeah, Wizards did. That's a great sign. Kim sign Kardashian, who? Who? Chris Humphreys, that guy oh, gets not, it not done. That. Not when it comes to fucking... Yeah, well, he got set up, dude. He got set up. Blake Griffin, like, I want the Clippers to sign him. Ain't gonna happen. I think you're right, dude. I think they're a lot better than they are. Training correspondent. I think you're wrong by Miami. I don't think Miami's a seven or eight seed. I think Miami's one. They have a lot of cap space now. They're gonna sign somebody else. They have. They've up. used yeah. up a lot of it. They got uh, Luol Deng. Yeah. And they were also a great team last year. I think they're gonna be like a four seed surprise people. Like that, the year after Jordan left. Uh, the Bulls lost, I think, one more game than you had the year before. Yeah. Regular season. I don't think they'll go in the playoffs. I think that's when they'll really miss him. But I think uh, regular season, that's those a great other guys call. will step right. up. You'll see some other guys who weren't allowed to score before who now are allowed to score. 
I think you got Paul Pierce. I think you got Chris Humphreys. I think you filled in nice. I think you, you don't need Paul Pierce to be Boston Paul Pierce. You need Paul Pierce to be fourth or fifth guy in your starting lineup, give you heavy minutes at the end of the game, at the end of the season. I think you guys, I think the Wizards are going to be good. I think they're positioning themselves to make a run at Kevin Durant. Yeah, no, Kevin Durant, he's like good friends with like Wale. He goes to the Redskins game. Yeah. He's with like. Friends with RG3 and all that. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, I think he's seriously, if he's going to go somewhere else. And if OKC doesn't do anything, he keeps losing in the semifinals. Okay, probably OKC would, nor- I would say, hey, dude, OKC is fucked if they leave. But that Sam Presti is the best GM I've ever, as long as they have him, they'll always be relevant. He's the best. If, if I'm a team, a team owner, I pay that guy anything he wants to come be my GM. Yeah, I've never met a guy really? who drafts better than that guy. He's got a pretty good track record, at least when it comes to drafting. Dude, Sam Adams, Mitch McGarry are going to be in their rotation, probably eventually starters. I can see that. Ibaka, I mean, this guy gets value at crazy picks. Hey, Ibaka. Yes. Yeah. Well, Joey, I agree with you. I know you wait online for half an hour to talk for three minutes. We appreciate that. And, uh, no, you know what? Hold on, hold on. The guy's waiting for half an hour. Let's give him a chance to say something unrelated to sports. Talk trash about whoever he wants to. Actually, talk Jordan, trash about I'm anything not, you want. Not, being from DC, what do you want to talk about? Actually, let him say. No, something. I don't. I don't have any beef, really. I, I'm excited for this. I think the Cavaliers Wizards rivalry is going to reignite. Yeah, I Those agree. Part, that that uh, crab dribble days when LeBron. He, well, if you watch that video, I think it was like Game Five. He take he takes two steps, jump steps, takes another two steps. It's the game winner. Yep, if not, I agree. This would have gone on. It's Dude. A, but I mean, if they reignite that, that'll that'll be a fun rivalry. You know. Dude, I think Gilbert Arenas is the one guy that I think, out of all the te- guys that got injuries and just never recovered, he's the guy I I just missed him. He was so fun to watch, mm-hmm. and he was like he was like everybody's. He he represented everybody in that. He got second, got drafted second round. Nobody gave him a shot. Right. He came and he just fought his way, fought his way, fought his way, fought his way. Made bank. I just wish his knees hadn't blown out. And can we get into everybody talking about Derrick Rose and uh, this team is the best team in the East? It's like, stop talk- to talk about Derrick Rose coming back is almost, not complete, but almost as crazy about talking about Greg Oden making an impact. This dude has legitimately missed two seasons. In a row. We should well, even be. On. Let me ask some questions. Let me ask some questions. Yes. Devil's advocate. I'm good at this. Was the injury the same injury? It was the other knee. Other knee. So now he has both knees. Okay. Same injury, yeah. other leg. I wouldn't give it Greg Oden level, but I would be like, hey, guys, until we know what he's going to be, we shouldn't be saying that they're going to be a great team. I completely agree with that. Everyone keeps going, I have the Bulls as the best in the East, okay? And that is. Hinge it on, you know, Derrick Rose come back. You can't say that, dude. Right. You can't say that. Yeah. You. It, that's a big if, a huge, huge if. His attitude is shit, and his knees are shit. No, no. Derrick Rose's attitude, not yeah. according to the commercials he's done. Yeah. Uh, you take away everything. Point, you take away the glitz, the glamour, the heat. My what knees. do you got? No knees. You take away my knees. What do you got? Heart. <laughs> If he has no knees, that's going to be a major problem. It's, it doesn't. We talked about this before. It doesn't affect the center as much as it does a fucking guard like that. I I, I just hate his attitude. That dicey slicing, cut hard, fucking. It's stop so and hard. Go. It's so stops. Yep. That's what blows you. It's like your. It's like your brakes. Eventually, when you're going that fast, you keep hitting the brakes. Brakes are going to fall off. Well, I'll tell you this. I've had two knee surgeries, and I'm worthless now. Yeah, so, well, I mean, you we started at worthless. You, you you can't hey, get... Hey, let me ask you guys a question. Would you be interested in this? Because we've been embarrassed so far. And Sam, you might be in trouble, too. Let's have Punch Drunk versus Occasionally Awesome. Because the one-on-one game takes out the passing. And I'm an excellent passer. Uh, I, none of the three of us pass. I do. I'm an, I'm excellent, an excellent passer. passer. I, I play ABA style. I would I play, play dude. Well. Who? Okay, they only they got need, two guys on their team. They need team. to get a third. Who would they get? And that's very important who they get. No. Two on two. We get a sub. They do not. 
Because they're younger? I'll be the Mexican referee. I'm in. I'm in. If Sam loses they to can, Nick. They can have Joe from D.C. If Sam loses to Nick, then okay. you guys might have to go two on two. Next. Yeah. I'm two in. on two, you guys win easily. Joe, thanks for calling easily. in. No problem. Yeah, Even two if there were two Knicks against each one of us, we'd two. still beat them. Probably. I yeah, because Nick doesn't know how to stop us. And Kevin's got Kevin's quite the liability there. Dude, you know what we do? Just set picks all day. No, you just double team Nick. And Are, you Kevin Are you doing drugs, Ari? Are you doing drugs? Yes, in this state, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ari. Smoke weed every day. Boom. Ari, I don't know if you know this, but we have a new segment on this show. Yeah, let's hear it. It's called Get It Ready Fight of the Week. Welcome, drunks, to another exciting episode of Punch Drunk Sports. Welcome to Punch Drunk Fight of the Week for the rest of my life. Strike Force, Bellator, and UFC. World Star Hip Hop. Yeah, World Star Hip Hop. Chicago, Detroit, Denver. Tremendous. Tempe Improv in the parking lot. It's Warby Parker. It's all fight stories. Knock the fuck out. They got blown the fuck out. At the end of the day, most of your MMA fighters, most of your MMA fans like a dirty boxing fight. To go next level, a slick ass, bad ass Ronda Rousey. Did you enjoy her her twerking? Free your mind. Fight of the week. <laughs> For the long. rest of my life. It's too it long. It is too long. It is too long. You only heard the first half. Welcome, drunks, to another stop, exciting stop, episode stop, of Pod. It is too long. We get that, but it's the wow. first time. And a fan okay, made right. that for right. us. So you're all right. we're doing first is playing cool. it. We'll go back to it. We, we, we can end it right after about, I think, seven or eight seconds. Right I after agree. I say sports. And I then agree. something else happens, and then we can cut it. But I that agree. Was, that was, I agree. That, right. First time, that was great. First time. That was great. Yeah, we let it play all the way through the first time, and then from now on, we'll just... You know, we'll nip it in the bud. You get it. I'm trying to, yeah, a uh, fan made that for us. I'm trying to find his name right now. But anyways, uh, so Ari, basically what I do is I find a, a clip. We ask fans to send us their favorite video clip from YouTube, World Star Hip Hop, E-Bombs, whatever. And oh, we're going to feature it. One. We're going to feature it. So. Can I send one in and be featured? Of course. Uh, send it to me. I can't guarantee I'll get it on, though. If you send okay. it to me, Oof. I'll send it to Sam and make sure he gets it on. I can't guarantee. What's the part of the week this week? What? What's the fight of the week this week? Okay, well, we have a fans, and then I have two. So let's, can can he see this? I'll look it up. Show me the YouTube, and I'll look it up. All right, can you get the first one up? Here it is. This is from, uh, here we go. This is from The Real Uncool. It's, uh, oh, no, The Real Uncool, at The Real Uncool made us that uh, song. Thanks, dude. We got to shorten it up. Uh, we'll talk about that right after. Um, dude, Paul Morrissey liked the involve. Paul Morrissey really liked the uh, the the opening oh, yeah. scene. Morrissey would. All he did was put a a rat in your house. It's fucking chips out. Here, okay. And this is from JP on Twitter. It's drunk Russians fighting. Can we see this one first? Yeah, waiting on Angelo. <laughs> Angelo, I go. Hey. Hey, load it up. Get ready to rock. And what did you do back there? Green calls. Okay, the first one is Drunk Street Fighter. It's Street Fighter 2 Drunk Russian Edition. It's on E Bombs. Uh, we'll put these links up. If you want to be, a, if you want to submit the fight of the week, send it to us. And what we're gonna do? You send us a link. We'll play. Tebow and I will do play by play, and we'll see how it goes. And normally we'd be into it right now. But uh, fucking Chunky and, and the Mexican back there aren't making it. Something's going on. May die first. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. You never know. I think oh. we got it. I think okay, we got can, it. You, can you make it big so everybody can see it? Turn it up. Here we go. So opening Street Fighter this is from JP. Turn it up. Round. Oh, he's hammered already. You can tell he's drunk hammered. drunk guy in Adidas pants. <laughs> he can't even walk. Can't straight. even walk. Is so <laughs> wasted. Well, wow. I already losing the gravity. So he's walking, pulls his pants up. 
fighting with his drunk neighbor. Oh, falls again. How would you describe the Russian guy? The guy that's hammered? Yeah. Uh, he's staggering drunk. What does he look like? Uh, Doing bad kung fu? He kind of looks like if GSP had a crack problem. Yeah, GSP on crack, has some bad sweatshirt on, pushes his drunk neighbor, who hits him back. Drunk neighbor looks like every guy in Florida busted for, for a crystal meth. Dude kicks him. Uh, this the, is amazing. This is the worst kick the wor This is like two blind people fighting. Uh, hey, Renee, can you tweet this link? Can Wouldn't you, get you it? love to fight both these guys at the same time? How would you describe it? I mean, they're just hammered idiots. And they're fighting like... They're just throwing punches and nobody's hitting anybody. This guy can barely stand in the first place. I mean, being that drunk, he has no right even being in public. Oh, oh, leg good kick. outside leg oh, kick. Oh, oh, trip ball. Oh. Who's winning? You know who's winning this fight? Gravity. Yeah, that was a good uh, vodka's winning this fight. Uh, now he's just trying to. He probably could take his back right here. They're both on the ground. Oh, right, now he's just mushing his face into the dirt. Now he's gonna call the cops. Oh, okay. The guy keeps his cigarette going the whole time. <laughs> All right, stop it. So that was one of our pick of the weeks. You win. I think now, Ari's trying to call back in, but I don't know if we can do both. All right, then have him hold off right now. Okay. L real quick, what do you want? I'm going to give you another awesome, awesome, hilarious two drunk guys fighting Oof. or one of our favorites, hot black chicks and one oh, fat chick fighting. Mm. What do you guys want? Man, I do. That drunk guy's one was pretty funny. This mm. one's funny, too. Do you want drunk guys or hot black chicks fighting where you know titties pop out? Well, we already watched two drunk guys fight, so let's watch the black chicks. Okay. I, 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 okay. So here that. we go. Our second submission to, to fight of the week. Here we go. I found this one. Let's see if we can watch it. Angelo say? says, which one? Yeah, do you want... It says hot chicks fight. Oh, you want the hot black chicks fighting one. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I had the other one set up. <laughs> Didn't we just say, let's watch the hot black chicks... Why we do that? Let's take a quick call while you try to find it. Tommy, what's up? Tampa. Tommy. Well? Tommy's calling in from Tampa. What's up? We're about to watch hot black chicks fight. Well, I, I don't want to... They always turn on each other. Why do they turn on each other? Because they're savages. <laughs> ah, good old Tommy. I did listen. I just called in. I just got out of a matinee show in the bottom of the Planet of the Apes. I thought it was a BT sizzle reel. Come on, Tommy. <laughs> I'm called for. We don't like that racism here. It's not racism. It's realism. Say. It's okay. not. It's racism. Nobody likes that. People are people. Especially these hot black chicks that are about to fight. I love them all. I think I saw the one on the right just climb the Empire State Building. Turk, hang up on him. Hang up on him. <laughs> we can't have that Tommy here on this yeah, show. But thanks for calling in. Do we have it? Here we go. Uh, here we go. Apparently from Montgomery, Alabama. These are hot chicks fighting at fat, fat <laughs> Seems to be at a gas station. Yeah, they're already getting into it. Look at this. Girl's taking off her shoes. Big, big security guard, guard, guard on the ground. Security guards, underwear, ass cracks everywhere. I love hot black women. They don't give a fuck. Oh, they're under. Look how hot they are. Look at those asses. Is there anything hotter than a light skinned black girl? Wow. Shoes. Everything's just a mess. So it's like three or four basketball wives fighting one Oprah. Look at this. Wow. Security's trying to fight. And they're always right to the hair, too. Oh, yeah. Do you almost, look at those, that ass hanging out. I love it. Look wow. at that. The swing oh, here shoes. comes another big, super huge one. Oh, wow. a big girl. Oh, has them. whoa. Right into side control with the oh, ass she's hanging out. Oh, her head. Precious just comes in. Oh, Precious and Oprah versus Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, oh, just snatches oh. her hair. Oh, boom! 
Oh, I love these. I love these. These are great. Everybody's grabbing weeds. Everybody's grabbing weeds. Everyone's got a handful what of hair. What could they possibly be fighting over? Here's the problem. You can't throw, you guy can't jump in. That's my problem. Black guys always jump into these fights and start swinging on bitches. You don't do that. You break it up, but you don't fight chicks. That's the end of it. How great was that? Uh-huh. That was pretty good. Which one's your pick of fight of the week? Uh, I, uh, for fight of the week, I'm a, I will go with the drunk Russians. Drunk Russians? Yep. Drunk Russians. Do we want to watch one more video or are we done? I mean, if I, 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 I wouldn't mind seeing another one. Can we load up the last one? Okay. May as well. I mean, while we got it here, while we're loading it up. And then we'll get to Dust. Let's go to Dustin because it sounds like he might not even make it through this. While we load up, let me know when you're ready for enough. Dustin, uh, what's going on? Hey, Sam, what's going on? Are what's you up, okay? Dustin? How are you, buddy? Uh, I'm making it. <laughs> I was just, I ain't got to call in in a couple weeks to see what's going on. Are you are you doing all right, Dustin? Uh, I've got a few things going on still. Um, the uh, we got some not so great news, but you know, they're not going to be able to operate on it. So, which means you know. what? Why can't they operate on it? I uh, just where the place where it's at. If they operated on it, it would be kind of. Uh, like, I would have to have, like, a double kidney transplant wow. if I did it. So, yeah. Fuck, man. But anyway. <laughs> Justin, anyway, we love you, though. Do what? We love you, though, dude. Oh, love you guys, too, man. I mean, y'all have been great with this and everything, so. Are you writing for the new website? I just actually uh, emailed Laura, um, or I guess it was Laura's husband, a little while ago. Um been real busy this past week, but uh, hopefully we'll have a couple days here to sit down and write, because I've had a lot of, there's so much shit in the NBA going on, you know, you know, I feel kind of like cheetahs that I haven't got to write about it. <laughs> well, we'd like to but, have you do some writing, and we, we care about you. Now, does your wife have sexual fantasies about me? Yeah, she does. At first, I thought she was just kind of joking about it, but... Uh, Is no, she there? No, she's not here right now. Okay. What are these fantasies? Yeah. Well, she just she said that she'd love to have a three-way with me and you and her, and I'm like, no. Nah. I mean, I don't know. Do you remember meeting us a couple years ago? I remember you being at the comedy store, yes. Yeah, okay. And so from then on, she just thought you would have been, like, the best-looking guy in the world. I mean, she's got a thing for you. Does she need or wear glasses? What? I'm totally. Can you kill his mic? Totally side related. Nothing to do with what you just said. There. I was just curious how her vision is. Well, Dustin, uh, uh, she thinks you're cute, though, team. But yeah. All right. Oh, she's, she's drunk. Now. She yeah. She just drinks a lot. Um, Dustin, we love yeah. you. We got a jam. Call in next week. We'll talk more NBA. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get into late today, but no, that's, that's all right, dude. You're a big pal. Please write for the website. Good talking to you. We care for you, dude. Take care of yourself, man. All right, guys. All right, right. brother. We got a very important call about to come in, but I want to get to this fight real quick. Yes. Our final fight of the week. Here we go. You're going to love this. It's extraordinary. Like, the best part of this is two drunk homeless guys sizing each other up. They look like they could fight, especially the other guy. All right, he's kind of smacking his punches. They want to fight Southpaw. They're fighting old school style. Yeah. Oh, that was a good punch. Yeah. It's like two chimney sweepers going at uh-huh. it. The guy on the left I really like. Ah! Oh, how nice takedown and slam. Dude, right in the side control. If you right take, in the full mount. If you take three weeks of karate, you got a chance on the streets. I don't know what all that mess is. Looks like. Uh, why does he have a vest on in the summer? Ooh, they both both fucking miss, but I like I like See, this guy's striking. I can't striking. tell if these are homeless guys or just like drunk Russians. I think both. Drunk Russian homeless. They definitely both look homeless. I mean, that guy. I mean, the guy on the left. Oh, that's a straight uh, hilarious fight. fighting style. 
And now he's back to fight. Oh! Wow. Two dudes, they're just... Really good striking in this fight. They're just going back to back. The guy in the, in the construction vest. Keeps switching stances. Keeps going southpaw back to regular right-handed. Oh, just oh, some great good deliveries. overhand right. And another oh, overhand he's, right. He's starting... Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's feel. Oh, guy's done. Back and I punch in the back oh, of the head. Oh, guy's That's done. Guy's so done. Oh, oh a nice trip. fucking... Fatality. So which one do you guys like the most? We're good. We're good. Which one do you guys like the I most? I still like the first one. I like the first one, too. So you like, like the first one. You like the, the fan submission. Yep. That one was great. JP on Twitter. You've got the fight of the week. Text every Monday. That's Ari tweet me in. your favorite fights, and we'll pick the best ones. We'll play them on. Let's go. Uh, is, oh, let's bring his Ari. I think Ari's back in. coming back in. Yeah, he's been calling back in. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's talk to the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite people, George St. Pierre. It is a pleasure to be here. GSP, how are you? I was just uh, uh, huffing uh, computer spray. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Why are you huffing computer spray? I like uh, free on, it's a good buzz. So you're just huffing com uh, Ari, GSP's on and he's been huffing computer spray. Who is GSP? Yeah. Oh, George. George, Man, when I said get off the K, I didn't mean switch to something else. Sometimes if you lose something in your life, uh, like fighting, you have to replace it with something else, like uh, computer spray. <laughs> so you've replaced, <laughs> you've replaced <laughs> fighting with computer spray, huh? And how's that going? A lot of time with it, you, uh, you, you put it close to your face, and then uh, your voice sounds like this for a second. Oh, I have my uh, computer spray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George, let me ask you a question. I'm going to take the opposite view that these guys took maybe for a second. Um, what's the high like, bro? It is crazy. The aliens start, uh, they get really crazy when I take it. And uh, I, I just feel, uh, I feel like I'm the champ again for about 20 seconds. Wow. And the aliens, what do you mean they get crazy? What do they do when, when you take computer spray? <laughs> you know in a cartoon when someone gets hit in the head and the birds are flying around their head? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like that with the aliens. They are circling my head. They are dancing. They are uh, taunting me. <laughs> taunting you? How do they taunt you? What is the taunt? They do it. Taunt, yeah. Like, right, they like are Richard Sherman? They their arms in my face, sticking their tongues out. Some of them touch their genitalia. Uh -huh. now, are, do they, now, aliens, a lot of people have associated aliens with Asians. What, what is the junk? Big junk, little junk, fun junk? Not fun junk? It, it, uh, it is like human beings. There's all different sizes of junk. Uh, it, some are very large, some are small. Are they, is there black junks? Are the aliens different colors or one color? Uh, most of them are green, but there are some, there's some grayish. There's uh, some yellow. I guess it probably ma matters like what drugs you're on, what colors they might be. That is true. It's uh, sometimes when I take that, when I mix the ketamine with the Freon, it's uh, like like a Lucky Charms box. <laughs> That's great. Now, when they're taunting you, do they say anything in general? They are. They are saying things. They're saying uh, you cannot take a punch from Matt Sarah. That is one of the taunts that they really like. Wow. And how does it sound? Will you do an impression of it? Uh, yeah. They are like, uh, you cannot take a punch from Matt Sarah. You are a terrible fighter. You are too free of. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what, uh, uh, GSP, uh, Ari's going to be in your neck of the woods in Montreal coming here pretty soon. Ari, oh, yeah. I would like to uh, extend the invitation to you to stay at uh, my place with me and my parents. Oh, Ari, will you stay with him and his parents? Well, they give oh, me a Canada. hotel. They gave I you a hotel? Relax. Well, yeah. do you I need mean, it? I would, I, I, I would love to, though. Like I would love to, though. Man. I would love to stay at your place. But that means you don't have to do that. You need to give me a hotel. Hey, Ari, Ari, real quick. When the champ is talking, shut up. Okay, well, he's not here right now because all we have is GSP. Oh! Oh, I'm uh, hey, Ari, I am extending uh, French hospitality to you, and you are saying right. uh, harsh things to me. No, you're right. I apologize. That was wrong. That was Dude, wrong. Don't was say wrong. harsh sorry. things to him. I'm sorry. I would you love to stay with you, George. I am uh, on the Freon. I'm feeling vulnerable. I'm coming down. Mm -hmm. Freon, yeah. 
Like, do you uh, like to do Freon with anybody, or is it just, like, uh, all by yourself? I like to do it by myself in my uh, parents' garage. I, I sit on my BMX bike seat by myself with my shirt off. Uh-huh. Yeah. You just think about life. Jean shorts. Definitely jean shorts, uh, sandals with socks. <laughs> So let me see if I have that. I just want to make sure I have this image painted correctly in my head. So you go in your parents' garage, just wearing sandals, socks, and jean shorts, no shirt, sit on your old BMX bike, do drugs, and just think about life? That is exactly true. Wow. And Ari, you're turning down an experience like that? No, I'm going to accept it. Uh, every morning I wake up at 4 a.m. and I chop wood uh, to stay in shape like Rocky IV. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, how about I do this, George? How about I get home at about 4 and I come, I smoke a joint and watch you, you know, and talk to you while you chop the wood. Uh -huh. And then I'll go that to sleep. That sounds excellent. Are you, are you into ketamine or are you uh, against it? <laughs> Uh, I'm into people doing whatever drug they want to do, but I, I've never been a ketamine guy. Ari, do you have jean shorts? You gotta have jean shorts when you hang out with GSP. Do you have them? I do not. Do you Ari know what? Ari seems like more of a, a corduroy shorts guy, and I, that would pass with me. Okay. Corduroy shorts? You have corduroy shorts? I, I have some cargo shorts and some some uh, some bathing suit uh. shorts. Uh, I don't know if that I, works. I heard Ari say something earlier that I uh, I took exception with. He said that he likes to punch the woman's uh, uh, butthole. Yeah. Yes. Ari does no, like to punch buttholes. Cheek. Punch her cheek, her ass. Why are you punching the woman, Ari? You're supposed to be uh, making love? Yeah. Great good, question. Good question, champ. Great question. Because I've got top position, man. And when I get top position, I punch. All right, how many uh, chicks have you punched? I, I, I that's another you shot understand. at me, which I do not appreciate. Uh, it sounds like you are going to the dark side of the Diaz brothers. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, I apologize. I should not have said that. GSP, right, you nice. are a lover. You are a lover. You've said that I several times. I, I wanted to ask you guys uh, some love advice uh, question. Oh, yeah. of course. Great. Sure, we'd love to help you with that, George. I have George a woman Honestly, has, though, I just want to say, been, uh, what an honor. Hold on, Ari. Me. The champ is talking. But, Why do you talk right. over him? Ari's manners have gone out the window today. I have to agree with that. <laughs> TV Ari, TV Ari's a little uh, rude. He's a little rude. Let's admit it. He got a nice haircut, uh, and he, he just gave us blue the, steel, everybody. The of the walk. Oh my God, seduction! Wow. I can't look at it. Wow. It's too much heat. It's too much heat. Uh, so you, you had a you had a question. You wanted to ask us some love advice. I have I have a woman who has been. Uh, I, I don't know how you say it uh, in America. Uh, textual intercourse with me. That's called sexting. That's how we say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Last week he goes, I don't know what you call it. Fuck texting. <laughs> <laughs> so this woman has been fuck texting me. Uh, let's just say she's a champion in the UFC. Oh, well, what? Is Rousey? There's only one, man. You've been getting well, uh, phone calls from Ronda the, Rousey. The of the bag. And okay. what is Ronda saying to you? She is saying she wants to uh, full mount my face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she wow. wants to ground and pound my penis with her pussy. Oh, oh wow. okay. Does she, what does she call her pussy or does she call it pussy? Uh, sometimes pussy, sometimes a uh, hot, wet snatch. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know, uh, do you guys think I should pursue this woman? Should I play it cool? I'll pursue. Pursue. Uh, yeah, I I'll go. Did she want to meet you in Stockton? I have heard that is my uh, problem. I have heard rumors that Nick Diaz uh, is involved with her. But I want. I believe that I have a better shot with her. I want to put down the gauntlet right now. I want to have a dating game style competition next week <laughs> on the air. Me, Nick Diaz, and Ronda Rousey. All right. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'm we got to put a happen. feeler out. I is she's Ronda to, what? She's definitely gonna know your voice. Go ahead. Sorry, Sam. Go ahead. Is Ronda Ra can anyone get a hold of Ronda Rousey to call in? She has been fuck texting me. I will tell her what to do. All right. All oh, right. Okay. All right. Great. All right. All right. All right. I like that. So yeah, we'll get you guys to call in next week, and then we'll see who she chooses to date. Now, are so you worried about getting catfished again? Once and for all. <laughs> How are you worried about getting catfished again? This, you just challenged him to an acting fight after a regular fight. How would this solve it once and for all? 
I would have. This is it, Ari. I believe this is it. I think this is, and this is as primal it gets. Two alphas fighting over a female. That's some National Geographic shit. She has uh, the most beautiful hips. When she does the judo throw, if you do not have a boner, then you are uh, not straight. That is true. Yeah. I will great. say, on her last fight, was the most I've ever been attracted to her. Really? Because I don't know why. It was, was the bosom heaving as she beat a woman. It was a primal cave woman uh, behavior. Very sexy. Ari, do you beat off the women's MMA? Because that's a lot of punching chicks. It is. I do not. There's just a difference there. I, I can't Maybe uh, Ari Shafir should be the MMA Andy Kaufman, only fighting women. Oh, I like that, Ari. I like it. I like it. Eleanor. I'll fight Eleanor. Oh, we should set that up. I think Eleanor would beat your ass. I'll I think Eleanor would win. Her. She would try to take one too many swings, and I'm like, oh, you want to do this for real? We'll see how brittle your bones are. Ari, let me ask you something. Have you ever swung yeah. on anybody? That's when was the last time you swung on somebody for real? What? When was the last time uh, you I, I can answer this question for my friend Ari, who will be sleeping over my house soon. Okay. He swung on a small Korean man named uh, Robert Lee. Oh, yeah. That was last time. Bobby Lee was the last time you swung on somebody. That's probably right. Yeah, that's right. See, we are best friends. Who's your what? Real quick. We are best friends. I just proved it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. guys, I mean, you proved it. You did know your Ari trivia. GSP, can you take a phone call from one of our listeners? I would love to. Okay. On the line, so Dan, positive. are you there? Yeah, what's going on, Dan? Dan, I know you've been online for a little while. Do you got any questions for GSP? Uh, I guess, no, not really. Dan, what, what are you wearing? Uh... For her pants and shirt. <laughs> GSP, do you have any questions for Dan? Did he say pants and shirt? I can't hear him well. Yes, he said pants and shirt. What kind of material are the pants? Dan, what kind of material are your pants? Carhartt. Carhartt? That's not the material, that's a brand. I'm going to assume denim is the answer. <laughs> denim. Nice. Any more Thank questions, you, GSP, for Dan? Are you, uh, do you work in construction? Dan, do you work in construction? Negative, yes, yes. What do you do? do you, what do you use the hammer loop for in the car hard pants? What do you, yeah, what are you using that hammer hoop for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, usually keep a wrench in it. A wrench in there. Why are you walking around with a wrench if you don't work in construction? Uh, I work around for college. A college. So you're the creepy dude who fixes everything? You just yeah, walk yeah. around with a wrench in the dorms like that's your cover to fuck girls? Sometimes. Yeah, okay. And then them. You are like the uh, the the Ralph Furley of the <laughs> dorms? Well done. Well done. Dan, what do you want to say about the UFC? George St. Pierre will answer it. What do you want what do you want to say? Well, I was just curious uh, what you think of this Alexis Davis signing, George. The what? The Alexis Davis sign, or not oh. the Alexis Davis, the Holly Holm signing. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dan, great Holly question. Holly Holm is an attractive woman. She is a, uh, a blonde boxer. She was uh, had a good boxing record. She trains uh, at the Greg Jackson camp, so I believe uh, Tate Fletcher, the caveman coffee man, would know her. I, I think, think Holly Holmes fighter, is hot. I think she has to... Excuse me? I think Holly Holmes is hot. I believe that's part of the signing. I don't know if she's well-rounded enough to uh, really challenge Rousey. Mm -hmm. I, I think until one of these girls wakes up and figures out how not to be chucked, and it's probably going to have to be another judo chick, it's going to be really hard for anyone to beat this bitch. Probably the best striker in female MMA that ju they just signed. Yeah, Holly Holmes is great. I do believe that a striker has a good chance against Ronda if you can keep her uh, away from you with good strikes. Yeah. I, I got you. I, I think that's the way to do it. GSP, we got to wrap up. Any final words? I am uh, I'm doing something called gasstationfights.com. Okay. Oh, wow. I've been training women. Some of the black women you saw earlier have been trained at my academy. <laughs> okay. Well, they were great. They did great. 
What do I you do? Hop on paint and hop on gas and then go fight? Fight dirty? Fight like Ari would fight a woman. Oh, so learn to fight like Ari would fight a woman. Fight at, like Ari's at making gas love. gasfights.com. Yeah. GasStationFights.com coming soon. Goodbye. Next week. Bing. See you next week, GSP. Real quick, Ari. Yeah. On that on that song, what would you want them to do for the fight of the week? How short would you like it? Probably about six, seven seconds. There was something I said, like something like the fight, something like real out of place, obviously funny. And then there was something like one other thing said, and then boom, right there. Yeah, take out all the strike force stuff, the Detroit, Chicago. Just get I to, mean, we don't even need a new song. We just need to stop it after 10 seconds. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It's time for the fight. Oh, that's right. Good point. Time for the fight of the week. Week, week, week. Fight, fight, fight of the week. Week, week, week. What, what, week, week. Fight, <laughs> fight, fight of the week. You can put the whole He's thing on YouTube, though. You can put the whole song on YouTube, it? on the Punch Drunk YouTube account. Or yeah. first. We'll put the whole song there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You want me to grab it and, and just cut out and use the last 10 seconds of it? Just make it no, so it first sounds 10. good. Like, first fight, 10. Yeah. First 10. First 10, First 10, and then how it ends. Fight of the week. I'm probably less than 10. I'm just guessing around 10. All right. So, dude, uh, what else? We're ending here. Three minutes. What do you want to talk about? This well, is the final segment we call Ari's Final Thoughts. The final three minutes. Can I say this real quick? Yeah. I know we didn't really get into it. It's official to me after last night of me attempting to watch it. The Home Run Derby has now become the dunk contest. Dude, it was it, lame. It was so lame. It's so that, lame and it's all these that new stadium. It was nothing. that stadium. That no. stadium fucked that thing. Yeah, what were they thinking? That, they didn't put a dome over that pitches. stadium in Minnesota? You know, like, fuck. Pouring down rain. Puig hit nothing. That was... At Major League Baseball has to be like, what the fuck just happened? I could have done what Puig did. Puig's great. Yeah, you could have. I mean, right. less added. Final thoughts. Final thoughts, you guys. Uh, Shroom Fest is coming August 9th, 10th, and 11th. People all over the world are going to be doing mushrooms at the same time. Do them anywhere you want. August 9th, 10th, and 11th, 2014 is Shroom Fest. You participate, you get some math. August 9th, 10th, and or 11th. That's our final thoughts. Anything from you, and Jason Uh Come to uh, Comic-Con. I'll be down there 23rd, 24th at American Comedy Company. You'll be at Madhouse that whole weekend. Oh, yeah, weekend. I forgot to promote that. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm at the Madhouse uh, during Comic-Con. Come hang out. Guys, we have sponsors. C Caveman Coffee, Bet DSI, our, our, our Amazon links. Help us help you. We got some great stuff we're working on here. And uh, I think the future's bright, and it's only getting better. And uh, your support helps make that happen. So we're working on some great, good shit. Again, punch we're drunk. What's the code? That code is punch drunk when they, when punch they buy drunk. the stuff. Yeah. yeah, punch drunk. Use it. Help us. Help us. Help One you. Help us. Words. One word or two words. One word. Did you just guess that right then? No, it's it's one word. Okay. okay. One word, dog. One word. Yeah. <laughs> One word, dog. <laughs> One word. Uh, great show. A lot of fun. Uh, Ari, always a pleasure to see you. Don't get to see you enough. I love talking yeah. to you. And, uh, you know, slay those bitches. Slay those ends. Hey, do you see Mara Merrick at all? I've seen her before. How's she doing? Uh, she's all right. Is she getting she's funny? Black, black hair. She's black hair. She got black hair now? Really? Does yeah. it look good or does it not look good? It looks good. You like I it? think she looks good. She's hot. No, I know. I mean, with black hair, though, I can't picture. That's what I mean. All right, dude. We love you. We'll see you next week, everybody. Talk it.